guys for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be discussing the top oils that I recommend using in a body oil. All these oils that I am talking about are oils that I've used personally in my body oil that I sold in my skincare business and got really good reviews for. So that's why I'm recommending for you because you may be able to get the same results as well. Alright, so let's begin. Disclaimer. Disclaimer guys. Um, these aren't the only oils that you can use in a body oil. You can use others, but these this is the combination of oils that I use and put together and it results in a great product. Okay, let's begin. The first oil that I recommend is safflower oil. So in my previous video where I discuss the oils that I used in um, my whipped body butters and the oils that I recommend that you guys use in your whipped body butters for sale, I'm not sure if I mentioned safflower oil, but safflower oil is a really good oil to add in body oils. Let me tell you why. Safflower oil is very, very affordable. I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of these body oils that are being sold online. A lot of them have safflower oil in it. Safflower oil is one of the most affordable oils, carry oils that you can purchase online, in my opinion, compared to, I think, um, Coconut oil, those are affordable too, but safflower oil, getting it in bulk, yeah, it's really affordable. It's a very affordable oil with great properties. And one of the major properties that it has that I think, in this is why I use it and I would assume that's why other people use it too, is because it's easily absorbed by the skin. It is easily absorbed and it is lightweight. And when you're going for a body oil, that's what a lot of people look for, unless they have really dry skin and they want something heavier, or they're going for a glowy look. But safflower oil is very lightweight and easily absorbed into the skin. So what uh, other companies may do is use a lot of safflower oil inside the body oil, and then maybe for the other percentage, use a small percentage of the other oils, maybe more expensive oils, just the other oils. And by doing this, they are able to produce, uh, I guess, an affordable, a decently priced product without breaking the bank. So safflower oil is a great oil to add to your body oils. Another thing about safflower oil that I want to go over is it has a silky, smooth feeling on the skin. It has linoleic, so it has linoleic acid. Linoleic acid helps strengthen the skin's barrier so it can effectively keep water in and in and irritants out. It also breaks down impurities in your skin. Now this oil is great for a body oil and it's also a major oil in my face oils. That's going to be next week's video, the oils that I recommend for facial oils and the combination that I used. But yes, so safflower oil is a key ingredient in body oils, but I recommend as a key ingredient in body oils that you want to be lightweight, that you want to stretch, and that you want to have a really good moisturizing properties without breaking the back. The next oil I'm going to talk about is hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is an oil that I add inside of my body oil mixture as well. I did mention this in my previous video, but I'm going to explain why I add it into my body oil mixture. With my lightweight body oil that I created, like a, I called it the dry body oil. I wanted it to not be heavy, but I also wanted it to be moisturizing. I wanted it to be great for eczema skin, super dry skin, while also still being a lightweight body oil. So that's why I chose hemp seed oil. And hemp seed oil is like kind of great for majority of the skin types, and there's not a lot of person who react crazy, you know, have reaction to hemp seed oil. So that's why that's why I use it in my body oil, and I love it in my with body butter. So that's why I add it in. I will mention that I don't use hemp seed oil at a large percentage. I use this enough so you can still get the benefits of it, but not too much to overpower the mixture because hemp seed oil has a green tint to it and it will change the color of the body oil. I had no problem with that because I didn't even use a lot. Ultimately, it's your decision, but I'd say for a body oil, you probably don't want to use more than 20% just so you don't have too much of the hemp seed oil in there and it doesn't have a really dark color, but it's up to you. The next oil I want to go over is actually avocado oil. Now, we did discuss that avocado oil is a bit of a thicker oil. It doesn't really leave a greasy residue, but it is a heavier oil compared to you know other oils. So the question is why use it in a body oil? The point of this body oil is because I know I'm making it as a body oil that is lightweight and kind of like a dry body oil, but still moisturizing. So I know the things that I'm putting inside of it needs to be easily absorbed into the skin 
lightweight but you don't want it to be too lightweight that it's still it doesn't last long so that's where the avocado oil comes in because I know that avocado is a thicker oil I decided to add it at a reasonable percentage so that when it does combine with the safflower oil which will ultimately thin it out you will still have a layer of moisture you don't know, feel that and that smooth feeling with the avocado oil so that's why I chose to add avocado oil in it now with that being said I would say to add more avocado oil which would be um, how much did I add one second I'll say to add the avocado oil maybe at a little bit over about 20% to a little bit over you know not not just just make sure it's not more than your safflower oil that's what I would say with the av avocado oil the last thing I want to mention about avocado oil is that avocado oil is known for its spreadability and how it penetrates your skin so that's another reason because if it is a body oil you want the spreadability of it so that when you do pump it you know you can spread it on your skin so that's why I suggest avocado oil and that's why I decided to use avocado oil you can substitute it with other oils but this is what you know I put in my recipes and I'm gonna post it here so you can see the oils that I use so the next oil that I would discuss is the castor oil now castor oil is like a depending on how you use it and who you talk to different you know benefits but majority of us use castor oil in our hair because it has that thick feeling right but castor oil has another use for example this is not for facial oil well it is for facial oil but like if you're doing if you want to draw out toxins for it from your face castor oil would do that because castor oil is considered to be a very drying oil so when you use it in like the OCM method to, to purge your skin, a lot of people use castor oil because it helps to purge your skin. Now, that's not your skin, but your face. When you use it on your skin, to me it's a thick oil. Some people, I, people there are people that use it on their skin maybe, but I'm not using straight castor oil on your skin. I put it in this mixture for its properties the dry little bit of the drying properties and because it acts as a protective barrier over your skin against environmental impurities so that's one of the reasons it also penetrates the skin right according to research it penetrates the skin so I added it because of those but mainly because of the little bit of dry not to dry your skin but I believe oils act differently with one oil it acts differently when combined with other oils for example oil a might have certain benefits oil b has certain benefits when you combine oil a and oil b it creates like a different type of synergy it kind of it may increase a benefit in one oil and decrease in the other or it comes together and it just creates this mixture and does something different i'm trying to put it in words but i hope that helps right so when i i don't see castor oil in lots of body oils but when i put castor oil in this oil it does what i need it to do so this this combination creates a moisturizing long i'll say decent lasting and effective body oil so the safflower so what happens so what happens is by combining these oils and all these oils together, it thins out the castor oil so it's not as thick because I use Jamaican black castor oil, not the ones you buy in the store. I actually, you know, had some brought up here and that's what I would use. So it, it was a bit thicker. So it helps to thin it out and then it gives the mixture. I should have an example of it. Okay, so this is one. <laughs> so this is one of my um, mini body oils. So this has castor oil in it, but you can't even tell that there's castor oil in it because of how it looks. And I'm um, not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna show you. See that? It's not thick. And you'd think with the avocado oil and the castor oil, it would have a thick texture, but it's not because of all the other oils that are in it. You see that? So this is from my liquidation sale because I'm closing my skincare business. So this is one of them that I'm, you know, liquidating. These are freshly made, by the way. But 
I hope you guys are able to see that. But yeah, so when they're combined together, it gives that effect. Um, let me show you. It does well because I'm doing a demonstration, right? So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, can you see? And I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Just a few drops. I'm not gonna put a lot. Hopefully that's showing in the camera. And uh, right there. And I'm going to rub it in. Now, even just the feeling of the oil, right? Even just feeling it, it has a very um. Even when you feel the oil itself, you can feel that it's not a heavy oil. When you just touch the oil, you you you. Because there's some oils that you touch and you can feel the thickness. With this one, it doesn't have such a thickness, and you don't have a very loud, you know, sheer on your skin. Like you look moisturized, but you don't look like you don't look like me can come fry an egg on your body. You know what I mean? Eh? So those are the oils that I use in my body oil. In regards to essential oil, I do an essential oil blend. It's ultimately up to you, but I like to use. I don't use lavender oil in this because the scent that I'm going for, I don't like. I don't want it to be like a lavender oil. But you can use lavender oil if you're okay with the scent. I do my usual tea tree. Um, tea tree, I do my usual tea tree, carrot, not carrot, frankincense essential oil is really good in there. And then I do not use artificial fragrance in this. Now, if you're looking for a budget, go ahead and use a fragrance oil. Just use a fragrance oil because honestly, if you, um, if you don't and you just use essential oils, eventually this product is going to be, become expensive for you to make and I know a lot of body oils they sell like eight ounce or twenty dollars or thirteen dollars on the contrary my um body oil was like two what, how much was that two ounce four ounce and I sell it for twenty something dollars was it twenty yeah about that twenty something that that's what I sold it for when I was in business only because I knew that it was small I was using no fragrance it was scented with essential oils and things like that but if you're looking for it to go a different route don't use essential oils to sell it unless you're getting like bulk essential oil for decent price that's the you know average quality and you just want it to scent the oil and not to have much benefit then go ahead and do that but take the, if anything take the other route and just scent it with a fragrance oil that's just my opinion okay so let's recap and move on all the oils that i just went through so we started with safflower oil then hemp seed oil then avocado oil then castor oil we also ended with a list of essential oils carrots i keep saying carrot seed that's for another video but frankincense essential oil tea tree essential oil and lavender if you want to change the scent but lavender is overpowering in my opinion right so those are oils that i use in my body oil Hold up, wait, I forgot to mention one more oil. The last oil that I do use is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil, sweet almond oil is a popular oil to use, but a lot of people don't use it because of nut allergies. However, sweet almond oil is such a great oil to use on your skin, to use in body butters, to use in oil, because I feel like sweet almond oil is not a very heavy oil to me either. Even when inside of this mixture, I don't see it as a heavy oil. So this is how my hand looks. It's moisturized, but it's not glowing. <laughs> which is fine so yeah sweet olive oil is a very good oil but I know a lot of people have nut allergies with sweet my substitute for sweet almond oil would be grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil is really moisturizing too it's lightweight and it's easily absorbed into the skin and grapeseed oil is similar to safflower oils in in regards to property in regards to the characteristics because grapeseed oil is also one of the top oils on the charts for oils that is high in linoleic acid right but so they have similar properties so you could do grapeseed oil because there's body oils that use grapeseed oils as well so you could substitute for that yeah i i hope you enjoyed this video i had to pull myself out of a rut to make this so i hope it's well received and comment below with questions i respond i comment below with questions you know i'm still a growing youtuber so i respond to all questions now i'm on the road to 200 subscribers so if you're new here and you're interested in pop-up shop tips which includes Read card readers, things to bring, things like that. 
subscribe if you're interested in skincare pop-up shops skincare tips all the recipe technical stuff you know how to basically use a computer and tie it into your skincare things like that definitely subscribe and like share with someone who would like it and thanks for and if not if you're not interested in any of that and you just want to watch thanks for adding to my watch time have a wonderful day